What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Microsoft Flow controls, specifically the Terminate control. So this is a control that you can put at the end of branches in your Microsoft Flow to stop the flow with a specific message. Um, this is especially good if you have a big flow with a lot of different branches, a lot of different logic, and you just want to end the flow at a certain point. So let's take a look at it. So we're in Microsoft Flow here. Uh, we've got a trigger set up and we're going to click on Add New Step. Click on Control and then we can click on Terminate. So instantly we see our default um, is putting the status as um, failed here. So if we click on the option set, we have a couple of different statuses here. So we have a status of failed have a status of cancelled and we have a status of succeeded. So um, we can we can specify an error message to end this flow with. So um, for instance, let's let's think about um, let's think about something different. Let's think about a condition which we've already shown before. So we want to add a condition in. We want to say if this condition is true, do this. If this condition is false, do this. So in here, we could add some actions in to send maybe a notification to a mobile. Um, and then at the end of this, we want to um, terminate the um, Microsoft Flow. So we can go to Control, we can click Terminate, and we can choose this Terminated and this Succeeded here. Now, if we go down the No route, we could add in some other things. So we could uh, maybe send an email to someone um, and do something else. Um, and send an email, choose that one. Um, so yeah, so if yes, we send a mail notification and we say, yep, yeah, this succeeded. If no, we want to send an email and maybe we want to send that as cancel. Um, so again, we can come here and choose control and we can change it. So we can say this failed or this, or this canceled. So why is this important? Well, especially when you have multiple branches of a, a flow, where you're doing a lot of different things. There may be times where you want to say, this, um, this branch of the flow succeeded, this one failed, or we canceled it at this point because it met some criteria. Now, usually when you ha have a Microsoft flow, it will just keep going down. So it'll run through all your logic and keep going down and down and down until it gets to the end, uh, the last action. And that's when it decides whether it's succeeded or it's failed. This allows you to stop a flow midway through. So if you're going down a, a branch, so if we're going down this yes logic down here, we can stop it here instead of it carrying on to another step. So, you know, theoretically, we could put another step in down here that says, um, you know, we could, um, let's just send another email, because that's easy. Um, we could send another email, say, I have this set up. Um, so we could take this out of here, uh, remove this terminate step here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, if yes, terminate here, and then don't carry on to this next action. If no, we're going to go down here. Um, and then after this, maybe we could put in a, you know, a failed action or a, you know, canceled action down here, which just means that we have multiple ways we can do things. Now, if yes, we're stopping it there, we've succeeded, and then we don't want to carry on with this logic. If no, we want to carry on down here and we want to do something else. Now, if I didn't have this terminate step, it would just carry on straight down. And that might not be what we want from our Microsoft Flow. So if that was the case, maybe you'd have to make multiple flows to do certain things where you always want to be doing this and then stopping. Um, this gives you that ability to stop a flow in its tracks, which is a really useful thing. We have the same thing in Dynamics 365 CE workflows at the moment. So it's good to see that we've got this in Microsoft Flow as well. What do you guys think about this feature? Is this something you know I use? Um, I'd like to know what you use this for at the moment or if you're planning on using it down in the comments below. Please like and share this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye for now.